Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if a required drive partition is missing on your Windows computer when attempting to reset it back to the factory state, or perhaps an earlier time, and it says that it was unable to reset your PC, a required drive partition is missing. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in format. Best result should come back with create and format hard disk partitions. Go ahead and open that up. If you see any unallocated space in here, you want to go ahead and right click on it and select a new simple volume. If you receive a new simple volume wizard, select next. And then follow along with the prompts here just to go ahead and assign it a drive letter. And if you want to name it uh, something, you can. This is volume label. This is just going to be the name of the drive. So you can call whatever you want. Uh, default just says new volume but you can change that. Make sure file system is NTFS and allocation unit size is default. And you'd select next and finish. And then attempt to run the utility again and hopefully I should have been able to allow you to proceed with resetting your computer. You can also attempt to run a check disk scan as well to scan your hard drive for system errors. So if you wanted to do that, you would open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in chk dsk space forward slash r. Again, chk dsk space forward slash r. Hit enter in the keyboard. Should come back with check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Tap the Y key and hit enter. So this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. So go ahead and close out of here and proceed to restart your computer. It'll allow you to skip the check disk scan if you tap any key, you know, usually within 10 seconds, I believe. I will be skipping that for today's tutorial. I don't want to make this video too long. But in your case, you're going to see a prompt that's going to say to skip disk checking, press any key within. I'm going to press a key on my keyboard. In your case, do not. Just let it run. Do not touch your keyboard at all and let it run the utility there. And then hopefully it should be able to identify and fix different hard drive errors. And then if you attempt to need to reset this PC, if you still need to anyway, um, you should be able to. But honestly, that check disk scan is pretty good. It does fix a lot of problems. And if you were looking just to fix other hard drive errors, you can run the system file checker utility scan. So I might as well show that in today's tutorial as well. So open up the search menu and type in CMD best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now go ahead and type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. 
So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.